Vetiver is the oil of the day. And I think most of the people watching this would say they do not like the smell of vetiver because they haven't used it. You may have opened up the bottle once and thought, that smells like dirt and I don't like it. Not only does it smell a little bit like dirt, it smells like sweat and hard work. That's what this reminded me of the first time that I smelt it. I now love it. It smells to me like camping, the outdoors, very musky, down to earth. And it's one of my favorite oils today, but it didn't used to be. So if you're one of those people who thought, I don't like vetiver because it smells terrible, I encourage you to watch and get some good ideas of how to use vetiver and you just might like it by the time we're done. Okay, so the first thing I wanna tell you about vetiver is it's very difficult to get out of the bottle. Some of you may have tried it and just gave up. Let, let me just tell you, just be a little bit patient. It's very thick, very sappy, so this is what I do. I just pour it into my hand. Now you might go like that and it'll just take forever. You have to tilt it a little bit. And then after a while I can see a drop coming. There we go. And it'll be a pretty big sassy drop. You put it in your hand, put it on the back of your neck, breathe it in and swipe it under your nose. That's how I use it. Now the, the way that I absolutely love to use this oil is at nighttime. I will get Serenity and Balance, those are two other oils that are very calming, and Vetiver, all together I combine those in my hand and I do just exactly what I showed you. This is what it does for me. At nighttime, I, um, I'm tired, but my brain doesn't wanna shut down. So my brain is kinda of like this, okay? All over the place, it's thinking everything I did that day, what I didn't do tomorrow, what my kids are doing, what I have to prepare for, and I just have a hard time calming down. Well, once I put those oils on, it will just calm my brain down so that it can actually stop and think and just go to sleep. And it will do this at any time when you need your brain to calm down. So for children, for adults, it doesn't necessarily help you go to sleep. You can have it just help you calm down. Or uh, anybody who may, at the end of the day, had a, a very stressful day, this would work great. For instance, my kids have come home from school and they just had one of those stressful days, maybe it was a test, something was hard on them, a teacher, something that was difficult. Swipe this on the back of their neck or put it in the diffuser with another oil, you don't have to necessarily have it by yourself, but it works great for that. Here's another thing that Vetifer is good for, the bottoms of your feet. How many of you work at a job where you had to stand on your feet for a long time, your feet get really, really tired? Or if you went to Disneyland and you stood in lines all day and your feet just ache, anybody have that? It's great for that. Rub this on the bottoms of your feet. So, so good to see, the, soothe the bottoms of your feet. Now here's something that I learned recently about vetiver that really intrigued me and makes me want to use it even more. Vetiver is high in sesquiterpenes. Not only high, but like it is 98% sesquiterpenes. That is amazing. Now how many of you know what a sesquiterpen is? I'm going to tell you what it is. And I'm actually going to read it. I have it pulled up here on my screen. You can't see my screen, but I'm going to read it to you because I feel like I need to make sure that I tell you exactly what it is in the way that is written so I don't mess up, okay? So here's what we're going to, here's what we're going to teach you about sesquiterpenes. Sesquiterpenes are molecules that deliver oxygen molecules to cells. That sounds pretty important, right? Kind of like hemoglobin does for the blood. Okay, so this delivers oxygen. Very cool. Sesquiterpenes can also erase miswritten codes in the DNA. Miswritten codes in the DNA. Now, this is taken directly from science. Those of you who have been to a science class, you know about sesquiterpenes. Wow, that's awesome. So let me tell you a little bit more. Sesquiterpenes are compounds of three isoprene units, which is 15 carbons and 24 hydrogens per molecule. Wow. Okay, so there's more than 10,000 kinds of sesquiterpenes, 10,000. Sesquiterpenes are the principal constituents of cedarwood oil and vetiver oil, 97% in vetiver oil. Is that awesome or what? So it sounds like sesquiterpenes are something we need to be having in our bodies, right? It's going to help deliver oxygen molecules to the cells. Amazing. Okay, I definitely plan on using this a whole heck of a lot more than just at nighttime. Great for emotional health, very calming, great for immune support. So if you're going on a trip somewhere and you know that when you go somewhere, your, your, immuni your immunity level, am I saying that right? Kind of goes down a little bit. Your new place, you're tired, you're probably working a lot. It's not gonna be your same regular routine. I would get out some capsules and put a drop or two of this plus lemon into a capsule and take that before you go on your trip. Just going to really help um, your immune system stay high. Here's the other thing, vetiver is used a lot in cologne. Did you know that? Kind of gives that little musky smell like we talked about earlier. 
So if you don't want that really pretty, happy smell and you're making your own do-it-yourself, like diffuser blends or colognes, add a drop of vetiver and that will really help in there to make it just have that really down-to-earth musky smell. Okay, hopefully you learned a little bit about vetiver today and it's not something you're afraid to use and you're going to try it despite the smell, I swear. You're going to love it once you start using it.